Oh, hey! What's going on, guys? My name's Adam, and welcome back to the channel. So you might notice a little bit of a different backdrop right now. We are currently at my property that I just closed on about a month ago. So I'm gonna go ahead and give you the grand tour, show you what it's gonna look like before renovations, and then I'll go over into like all the details and stuff, like the housing costs, the renovation costs, and you know, give you all the juicy details once we get into it. So come on in. So first things first, started by installing the smart lock. This was like the number one thing that I did. It's a Schledge uh, smart lock, which just helps people get in and out. You know, when you got contractors coming through with subcontractors, it's just really nice to not have to have like a physical key under your doormat or something. They can just punch in a code and come in. The next thing I'm also gonna do is replace this doorknob here with this black doorknob, just to keep it consistent with the uh, with the lock. Next thing up, so these are the stores da stairs down to the garage. What we're gonna do is we're gonna replace this with basically a silver version of that front doorknob. And then if you come in a little bit, and then take a look down the staircase here. So all that carpet is going to be replaced with a commercial low grade carpet. And definitely no shag carpet because there's been, you'll see some nasty stuff later with that. This privacy glass here, and you know, if you can see at the base a little bit, it is built down into the, uh, the stone that's already in here. And we're gonna leave this stone because they actually did a pretty good job laying it. Probably gonna end up building just like a little wall around it just because it's already built in and it would look kind of bad to replace it and yank some of that stone out. Um, so that's what's going to go on here. So now if we come up into the dining room, you see this wall here with the kitchen. So I wanted to tear down this wall, but it turns out that it's actually a structural wall. Uh, it's not a huge deal. There was an like ugly cabinet on the side of it that got removed and there was also an island removed. But we're gonna put, obviously take out this chandelier because only one light works and it's really old and rusty. We're gonna place four recessed lights here and it's really gonna add a lot of light here in addition to what you get naturally from the outside. If we head into the kitchen, you'll see that <laughs> there's this giant hole missing. This is where the island was. It was actually about this size, so it was just kind of an awkward island. Um, this is coming out too. And uh, instead of putting in new recess lights, we're just gonna re replace these fixtures that you see up here on the ceiling. After that, we are going to replace all of these kitchen cabinet doors with the modern flat design. So this is right now, this is like the Victorian kind of, where it's got this little like beveled, like crown molding kind of look to it. So we're gonna replace that with just flat white cabinet doors. And what we're gonna do is put these little modern looking square handles on it. There's a 50 pack for about 80 bucks. So these are gonna go on every single cabinet door and it's gonna make everything look nice and clean. Uh, and it's actually relatively inexpensive too. Next thing that we're gonna be doing is replacing all of these appliances, especially this fridge, because that thing is nasty. I almost gassed Kim when I, when I opened the door. It was disgusting. So these are all going, all four of these, and they're gonna be stainless steel LG appliances that I got from uh, Home Depot. All of this countertop is going to be white Calcutta quartz, uh, and that's going to go up into the backsplash as well. It's gonna look super nice when everything is just all one color. If we take a look outside real quick, I'll go ahead and open this up. So this is one of the bigger selling points of the place. There's not too much to do here. We're just gonna rip out this, uh, this guy right here because the pollen and the honey that's coming from it can attract uh, unwanted animals and stuff. But besides that, we're just thinking about putting like a, some sort of water feature here because I don't know if you can hear that, but there's kind of a lot of traffic noise. Uh, this is fairly close to a highway. So yeah, let's head back inside. All right, so now that we're back inside, we're gonna head into the living room. So real quick, uh, again, all of these interior doors are going to be replaced with this uh, kind of stainless steel. It's actually brushed nickel. Um, all of these are getting this little modern door. You know, the whole like rectangle modern design, so I'm a big fan of that. Uh, nothing really going on in here. Um, just gonna be painting everything, gonna add a wall mirror. Um, but you know, everything's gonna be staying relatively the same just because they kind of use this stone all throughout. Um, as you can see here too, with this little like double helix that they got going on. Just updating some of the fixtures, 
uh, and then adding newer lights and then, you know, just painting it. Let's actually head back out to the, <laughs> to the living room this time. Uh, so you see here that we have no lights in here. So again, there's gonna be four recessed lights that are gonna be placed in here. And then on top of that, this whole flooring, we're gonna be replacing with a like grayish beige kind of uh, color. Uh, it's gonna look a lot cleaner and it's gonna look really good with the stone that's out here. I wish I could, they already demoed this because <laughs> renovations already started, but there was this like nasty like door shade thing that was just like really heavy to open. It was like almost like barn doors, but it was like shades on it. Um, so they demoed that down and I'm just gonna do blackout curtains instead. Um, but yeah, this just goes out to this little balcony that we have and the chimney kind of pops out into it a little bit. Go out here, you got a little nice little balcony uh, where you have a little bit of space, probably for like two chairs. And then you got some storage there for, you know, maybe surfboards or something. All right, let's go ahead and head back into the inside. So this is my favorite part of the house here, this nasty carpet. So let's get a close up of that. Look at that. Look at how disgusting that is. It's just a black street wherever, wherever people are walking. So if we go up the stairs, all of this carpet's gonna be ripped out and gonna be replaced with that exact same uh, luxury vinyl tile. It's relatively cheap and it's very durable and it looks just as good as wood, if not better. You can see like this carpet's just really nasty. There's like piss stains from the dog. So again, this is coming out. So first off, again, gonna be replacing the door knobs. That's nothing crazy, that's nothing new. Uh, this is going to be painted uh, the, the white color that's going to be consistent throughout the house. We're going to replace this fan with a smart fan and then we're going to rewire the outlet which is currently hooked up to the switch. I personally find that super annoying so I'm just going to have it hooked up directly to the fan. Carpet's coming out for the luxury vinyl tile and uh, yeah it's going to look really clean. So that's pretty much what we're going to do for the rest of these uh, bathrooms as well. So, or Sorry not bathrooms, bedrooms as well. So if you come in here, again, same thing. So we're gonna do doorknob, paint everywhere, put a smart fan up in here. We're gonna rewire the switch from the outlet up to the fan. Uh, but besides that, it's gonna be the same. And this is gonna be Kim's office probably. <laughs> or guest room. Oh, well. Yeah, we'll talk about that later. <laughs> These are gonna be blackout curtains because uh, yeah, we're gonna replace these. So that's gonna be this second bedroom. So this is the second of three bedrooms. So then we're gonna come in, we're gonna check out the guest bathroom, or the you know first of the main bathrooms. So we're, we're not gonna really gonna do anything here. I might update the, uh, the vanity here, the little mirror. Um, but the really the only thing that we're gonna be doing is we're gonna add a crossbar here to support a shower curtain. Because uh, previously before they only had a tension rod that was just like really flimsy and like I don't I honestly don't know why they built this here because it doesn't do anything. Uh, it's besides looking nice in the 70s. I'd definitely take out all these like rhinestone things because I don't really want to have a bejeweled bathroom. Uh, yeah, also down here you can also see the bejeweled stuff. So we're going to be replacing these with the uh, door handles that you saw down in the kitchen as well. But yeah, this is what this bathroom is pretty much going to look like, just cleaned up a little bit. Um, so let's go ahead and head into the master. Again, same thing as the other uh, bedrooms. We're going to replace these handles with the modern uh, square handle. Um, same thing with this uh, closet handle. Um, closet's gonna stay relatively the same. I'll open it up real quick. It might be hard to see. Um, closet's gonna be this, oh, they already demoed it. <laughs> uh, but yeah, so they, yeah, I know, right? I didn't, actually didn't know that. They already demoed this side and I'm gonna get them to demo this side as well just because eh, it doesn't really do much. It doesn't add a lot of space. But uh, yeah, this carpet's also gonna come out and it's gonna be luxury vinyl tile in here that I was talking about earlier. Um, but besides that, they're also gonna paint it, but it's largely gonna remain the same. And then you see here, we have uh, some of these shades. These are gonna go, because uh, obviously like, this is from like a motel in the 80s. Uh, not a good look right now for, uh, you know, for a modern house. So these are gonna be replaced with blackout shades. So these are gonna look super nice. Fan is also gonna become a smart fan. As you can see here, we got our vaulted ceilings. So I had to make sure that 
the fan was able to support that like angle. I'm definitely thinking barn door because like these, these like double doors are kind of like saloon style, like, <laughs> like wild, wild west. Like I'm about to have a shootout or something, but yeah. So these might go. But then if you come in here, so again, nothing too major. Um, probably gonna leave the counters, but we'll just update this vanity or this, this mirror set. This is a lot of storage back here. Uh, that's a lot of pills that you'd have to be popping in order to use it. So, you know, not sure that I want it. But besides that, it would just be replacing this skylight at the top. Uh, there is a similar one on the other bathroom and you can see it's kind of like gross and yellow. So I'm going to keep the skylight, but I'm just going to replace the fixture. So yeah, those are all of the plans that I have for renovations right now. You know, we'll see how things go. You know, as we, we already started some renovations and found out that like, for example, that wall between the dining room and kitchen is a structural wall. So that already put a damper in some of my plans. So, you know, these things you kind of just got to play by ear. Um, but yeah, with that said, Let's go ahead on to the details, future Adam. <laughs> Let's get into the details about the property. Sorry for the sunburn in those clips. I got roasted in San Fran a couple days before and had to shoot the video that day. The lighting was also terrible because there were no actual light fixtures in the unit, but that will be fixed with renovations. Anyway, I wanted a property that I could live in for a year to take advantage of the 5% down payment, then rent it out after. I started looking in San Diego at the beginning of March and I found this place in April. I had put out four unaccepted offers at this point. I had seen other townhouses with the exact same 1,500 square foot, three bed, three bath floor plan in the same complex during my search so I pretty much knew the deal even before I walked in the door. The major difference here is the previous owner kept the place relatively clean aside from not updating anything for like 20 years, uh, but they had central AC units installed, the water heater is fairly new, and other things like that. All renovations fortunately are cosmetic, which reduces the time and costs. The biggest negative is some highway noise, as you probably heard, but you can't really hear it once you're inside of the unit. The listing price for this townhouse was $789,000 because 789. <laughs> because this housing market is crazy and prices are flying up, I came in a little bit above that. There were several other offers, including one in full cash at listing price and many others that were above mine. Here's where my agent came in clutch. He put a rent back agreement, which stated that the seller is allowed to stay in the property for free for 30 days after closing. As you can probably guess, my offer was accepted two days later. They countered with a couple minor tweaks, like which escrow company we'd use, as well as extending the rent back to an extra 30 days. After discussing with their agent, we found that the rent back agreement was actually the deciding factor for the seller choosing my offer. Keep that in mind if you're looking to buy. I didn't mind that at all since I am renovating and I wasn't planning on moving in for a while anyway. This ended up not mattering because they moved out two weeks after the closing, so the whole thing was kind of pointless, but Eh, you know, they were covering their bases. Uh, so yeah, my offer was accepted and we opened up escrow. So now let's get into the juicy part, the financing. The offer was a clean $800,000, which I will admit, it is a huge chunk of change. <laughs> of course I weaved a Z clip in there. But this could be doable to some of you watching and you might not even realize it. So you might be thinking, oh, hold up Adam, you're a YouTuber making tons of money. This isn't doable for any of us at all. I actually don't make that much on YouTube. If you wanna see exactly how much YouTube pays me, check out my video that goes in depth into all of that. And whatever I do make, I reinvest back into the channel. So the money is coming from my regular job, climbing the corporate ladder, and from my investments starting all the way back from high school, which I've been adding to all of these years. Hopefully that inspires some of you to start investing. The earlier you start, the more your money will compound. So with that said, here is a seamless plug-in into some cool news for the channel. I was recently asked to join the Webull affiliate program, so we're seeing some pretty good growth here. If you use the link down below, you'll get two free stocks worth up to $70. All you need to do is deposit $5. You don't even need to trade it. It's there if you want it, and it's pretty free money. <laughs> anyway, we have the sale price at $800,000. Of course, I'm financing this with a 30-year fixed rate mortgage. 
I did not pull an Andre and buy a mansion in Las Vegas at around the same price in full cash. I wish, man, maybe one day. And no offense to Andre, he is living the dream. My down payment was $48,000, or 6%, which is a little above the minimum of 5% for a primary residence. We did this in order to stay within the standard loan rate, which caps out at $753,250. So $753,250. Anything above that is considered a jumbo loan and has much higher interest rates. So I'm financing about $753,000 and the interest rate I got with the loan was 3.25%. I could have gotten a 3.125% rate. I just chose a higher interest rate because they gave me a rebate of over 9,000. <laughs> but actually it was 9,000 bucks upfront, which helped a ton with renovation costs. This only made a difference of $50 a month to my payments. And I'd much rather have the nine grand now. Uh, the break even for that is almost 10 years. And at that point, the extra $50 won't be an issue. Speaking of monthly payments, my grand total monthly payment is $4,600. So that's $4,300 to the mortgage company and 300 to the HOA. Again, this is a good amount of money. So here's why I chose the property. It's in an extremely desirable location in San Diego. You're about a 10 minute drive to two beautiful beaches. There's lots of restaurants and shops within a short drive and the schools in the area are phenomenal. Since this will be a rental, the average monthly rent for similar units in the area is around $4,000 for the pretty beat up places and well over 5,000 for the newer units like mine will be. Since I am renovating, I'll be able to have it cover most of my monthly payment on my mortgage in the absolute worst case and in the best case, I'll be pocketing a couple hundred bucks a month. The renovations will also increase the value of the property. I'm putting around $30,000 worth of work into the place, and once I get it reappraised, it should be about $860,000 based off recent sales of similar units for a profit of $30,000. There were even two similar units that were updated in the complex that sold for almost $900,000. Like I said, this market is absolutely nuts. So there you have it. That is everything you need to know about the house so far. I will be showing it after renovations in another video. So if you wanna see that, go ahead and subscribe and you know, might as well hit the like button while you're down there, right? Let me know your thoughts on this. This is my first ever real estate deal and I'm a total noob, so I'm definitely open to feedback. I hope you have an awesome rest of your day and I'll catch you in the next one. Take it easy.